All right, gonna make a video on a book. It's called The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle by Jim Rohn. And I'm gonna summarize it very easily. I'm not gonna touch on, you know, it's a 110 page book. It's a fast read, I highly recommend it. But here are the things I wanna cover. It's called the five pieces because it gives you five pieces. One is philosophy, the other is attitude. Three is activity, four is results, and five is lifestyle. Philosophy, uh, it's all about becoming more. And you know, a lot of people seek to be better when they're inspired or out of desperation because they're in a situation that sucks. Hopefully, if you find yourself wanting to be more, it's hopefully out of inspiration because desperation makes you do things maybe uh, in bad ways. I don't know, get into legal stuff. Anyways, uh, he, some good points he says is you want to draw from the day, get from the day instead of getting through the day. Another thing is. Having a strong philosophy allows you to ward off any negative things in life. Maybe negative um, philosophies like party, YOLO, things that lead pretty much are fun, but they lead you nowhere. So yeah, have a strong philosophy so that you're not deviating from your goals. Um, Philosophy also needs refinement, constantly you refine and improve what your philosophy is all about. There might be some errors in judgment. One thing about the philosophy, or what your philosophy should have is, um, it should have you focusing on the important things major time on major things rather than major time on minor things the 80 20 rule where you want to spend 80 percent of your time on the 20 percent that that matter or focus on 20 percent that recreate 80 percent of the results for example great customer service in a sales job probably or making them laugh at a sales job making them feel comfortable makes it's only it's very simple but it pretty much seals the deal in a sales job whereas all the paperwork and all the numbers is, is it's not really gonna get you the deal it's just gonna bored the heck out of a customer um you also do not want to neglect your philosophy i'll make sure you you stay on top of it all right let's go to attitude well uh, you gotta be at peace with your past present and future avoid wishes you know stop saying oh i wish this i wish that because that's just a way to make yourself feel good um realize that negativity is very powerful so when you come across it get yourself in a positive mindset and kind of understand what that what those words mean and how they're probably gonna influence you so one you might want to get yourself out of that situation uh, so realize the influence is subtle another thing is your why is more important than your how it's what's going to keep you going when things are tough. Also realize that nobody makes you angry. It's you that makes you angry. It's you that let your guard down and let others' opinions influence your emotions. So control your attitude. Don't let others do it. Now let's go to activity. This goes back to the 20%, do the 20%. It gets you 80% of the results. 
life is about you getting the rewards in proportion to your your deserve what you deserve not what you need the more you need does not reflect the more you get the more you deserve because you put in the work is the more you get um this is probably my favorite quote in the whole book or with my favorite point is you either choose the pain of discipline or the pain of regret and that's self-explanatory you can either go through the painful process of getting better becoming a better person uh, doing better on tests and studying and or whatever it takes you know or regret it you know that's also painful regretting i wish i did this i wish i did that by the time you're like really old you're gonna be pretty sad um the whole thing about this is it's important to want to become and not really it's not really about attaining it's about becoming so do you want to become a better person rather than attain all these good things you know they will come the good things will come you will attain good things but it's all about be becoming a better person also rest is necessary not an objective it's not all about trying to be under a ha on a hammock and under a tree with great shade the rest is necessary because you put in a lot of work um you know resting as, as an objective is just gonna make you lazy it's also doing better is also more important than feeling better right be honest with yourself you know, don't blame the government another thing is have long-range goals have a simple plan don't let it slide you know simple plan is straightforward you overcomplicate it now you're just in a, a whole messy scatterbrain situation uh, results that's number four uh, you can measure results by you know material possessions the book says that you have other things other experiences like family you know and that won't be topped by possessions but if you want to measure it you know some possessions like assets and such is a good way to measure um, to get more results you want to be more valuable you want to work harder on yourself than you do on your work or your job whatever uh, be a master so having a skill means that you've mastered something um, so what else so it's important to measure your results because you want to see what works and what is not so that you're not doing the same thing that doesn't work you don't want to do the wrong thing for a whole two years and and realize so late that you know if you had known your results were because your bad results were because of that same repetitive useless action you would have done you probably been ahead of the curb um, so force your actions to change your thoughts I don't know if that fits the results but um, also don't do less than your best your best should always be what you put out there on the world see these trees it's better to emulate the growth the struggles that they face to grow that big rather than just you know seeing them for their shade and using their shade no look be inspired by them that's what the book says be inspired by the trees who who grow as much as they can not as much as eh, you know i'll take a break i'll just grow 10 feet call it a call it a life no, they'll grow and they'll try to survive and maximize life. Lastly, lifestyle. 
So the book wants you to live more consciously. Um, tells you that art is an art and be happy with what you have. We've heard that a lot. Um, life is an experience, not something you just do. Life is having substance. You know, when you experience something, it's it means more than what it looks like on the outside. And avoid the comfort zone because that will pretty much put you set you back uh, a lot of time, and you have to start all over. Not all over, but like slows you down. Anyways, that's it. This long video. So see you on the next video. Bye bye.